Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I have fabulous news. It is raining. I am so excited. I should be doing like a rain dance right now. This is the first time it has rained since, oh gosh, I don't like February or something like that. I live in California and we are going through like a years long drought. So anytime it rains, even the littlest bit, we all are just enjoying it so much. So I am out here in the rain. I am totally happy. I know my plants are so happy because rainwater, I don't know. I mean, I know it has nitrogen in it. I know it has something in it, you know, the salts or whatever, but my plants just thrive when it gets a little bit of rainwater, which I think is so fantastic. So I was planning to do my backyard garden tour today. That's obviously not going to happen. Um, again, I, <laughs> I'm totally fine with it. I'm super happy. What I, what I did want to do is I wanted to talk to you all again about my blue barrel rain system that I installed this summer. So let me show you this behind here in my messy side yard. But these are my rain harvesting barrels. I am so excited about them. It's, I don't think it's raining enough today for it really to get full, um, but I'm coming out here like it was raining a little bit this morning and I ran outside here to come check on these guys to see if there was anything in there. I think that there's like some drops <laughs> at this point, um, but this is how I'm planning to deal with our drought and deal with um, the lack of rainwater and still wanting to have a beautiful garden. I have these four rain barrels that are going to be harvesting the rain this winter. So when it rains, my gutters will catch the rain and it'll come down and it will come into this pipe and then it will drain and store all the rainwater in these four barrels. And then I have a spigot that I can take, you know, I can get some water out of there and that's what I can use to water my plants. So I'm really excited. I hope I get enough rain today to be able to get some rainwater out of that and hopefully water my soil blocks that I have inside because I think the soil blocks will just thrive off of the rainwater. So each one of these barrels will hold 55 gallons of water in each barrel. So my system will hold a total of two 220 gallons and you can daisy chain basically as many barrels as you want with the system, which is really neat. The minimum is two. The maximum is as much space as you have. I decided that I, I felt like this was enough. 220 was enough. These will fill up with less than one inch of rain, which is fantastic. So I don't know. It's starting to rain kind of hard right now. Um, I might have to go get an umbrella. Uh, so it's, it's, these will fill up in less than one inch of rain. I don't think we'll get that in this rainstorm, but you can imagine, you know, that just a couple rainstorms. Oh, it's so exciting that it's raining, you guys. I am so happy. Of course, it's 70 degrees outside, so it's not even cold, but <laughs> it's so nice to have rain. Um, where was, what was I saying? I am getting so distracted. Um, you can have as many rain barrels as you want less than one inch of rain it will you know my roof will catch it and then it'll come down my gutters and it'll fill these guys up and apparently i've never had any experience with other types of rain barrel systems but apparently with the setup of other types of rain barrel systems you can't access the last 25 percent of the rain in your rain barrel with these because they're daisy chained together you can access most of it now i kind of messed up a little bit and I put my spigot a little too high if you guys can see that so I'm not going to get one inch I'm not I'm going to miss out on about one inch of the last amount of rain that I have there but if I need to lower this a little bit I can so this is where I'm going to get my rain I don't think I don't think there's any yeah there's none um so yeah you know I just think that this is a fabulous system I think that if we all did something like this I think it would really help us all out you know, we're dealing with a drought. I feel like we're going to be dealing with a drought for a really long time. So if you live in a drought stricken state like I do, I think that this, this is a fantastic idea. Of course, it's not going to solve all the problems, but I just cannot get on board with just doing all pure drought tolerant plants. I just, you know, I see the native gardens and they're beautiful in their own way, but you know, I just really enjoy, um, I just 
I just really enjoy the other plants that aren't all drought tolerant. I try and do some, but I just can't do all of it. Okay, I think I have to wipe off. I think I have to go to get an umbrella. Hold on. <laughs> all right, I've got my umbrella. So we have not been dealing with very many water restrictions here in Davis. The only water restriction we really have is we're only supposed to water our lawn three times a week, which we do. Um, and, and that's it. We haven't had any restrictions on our sprinkle or not our sprinklers, our drip systems, uh, or anything like that, or hand watering. We don't have any restrictions on that. However, I do know that other places in California specifically, I'm not sure about other states, but, um, because of the drought, we are, they are dealing with a lot of restrictions. Um, I've heard reports, you know, there's one town close to where I grew up. It's called Healdsburg, California. Uh, my the reason why my friend's family lives there. And she says that they're not allowed to use any water, any water at all. And so they were given the opportunity to get a rain barrel and that's what they can use to water their garden. Um, if they, if anything's even survived, which to me is heartbreaking. I mean, so heartbreaking. I don't know what I'll do. Um, if we do start getting restrictions, restrictions here in Davis, which if this drought doesn't turn around soon, I feel like we will start getting restrictions here in Davis, which is why I was looking into something like this. So I just think it's a really, really good idea, especially if you live in a drought stricken state like California. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to solve all the problems, but I think it will definitely help. And I think that I will add on to my rain barrel system as you know, as I want to invest in it and everything like that. So the company that this rain barrel system, this DIY kit is called Blue Barrel, Blue Barrel Rain Catchment Systems. They're a local company. They're based out of Santa Rosa, which is close to Hillbrook. I actually grew up in Santa Rosa. And the woman who invented it is actually from Davis, which I thought was awesome. And she's, she's just so smart. She's so fantastic. So these blue barrels. These are actually food grade blue barrels. And, um, the way that it works, I guess, is that these barrels were originally used to store like sauces, like soy sauce or, uh, alcohol or vinegars or something like that. And because it's food grade, the barrels were only allowed to be used one time and that's it, which I think, I mean, because it's food grade and you want everything to be, you know, sterile and, and sanitary and safe, I, I get it. I totally get it. But what an absolute waste of resources, right? So they could only use these blue barrels one time and then they basically go to the landfill. So the woman who came up with this whole blue barrel DIY kit system found a way to use these one use, to reuse these one use uh, barrels, food grade barrels barrels and turn them into rain harvesting systems. So not only does it recycle these barrels, but then it also gives all of us access to cheaper barrels because they're recycled barrels um, that we can use for our rain rain harvesting systems. So the way that it works is that you sign up for the blue barrel system and they give you a voucher to go pick up these blue barrels from somebody in your area. You put in your zip code and then they will let you know what food supplier has these barrels for sale through blue barrel and they'll give you a voucher and you just go pick it up. And when I did it, it was so easy. It was a piece of cake. There was somebody in my town and I went and I picked up the, the four blue barrels. It actually took me two two trips because I could only fit two in my car. So you have to think about that, about fitting it in your car. I guess some places will do delivery, but you know, I could fit it in my car. So then you just put the system together yourself. I will link the videos um, that I did earlier this summer of putting these blue barrels up. It took me two days because I had to stop because it got too hot, <laughs> but, other, but I could have done it in one day. I easily could have done it in one day. So it's a good DIY system and I think it's fantastic. And I'm so excited to see how the system is going to do this, this rainy season, this winter season. I want to see how many times I can fill these barrels up, how much I'm really using of the rain barrels, um, if I need more barrels as soon as possible. You know, it's a whole bunch of questions. This is the first season that I'm doing this, but I'm really, really excited about it. So I am so happy it's raining. 
what a fantastic day. It's, you know, it's just such a relief. I can feel my plants just, just sighing and I'm doing the same thing and I know everybody around is doing the same thing as well. We are enjoying this weather. I hope you all are enjoying the weather around you and I hope you have a chance to get into your garden today. At least get out there if it's raining, at least enjoy the rain. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? That's rainwater. Oh, how exciting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> how exciting. Yeah. 